like I did on Tom Little. So it was that kind of fight. But this guy is much tougher than Tom Little. I gotta say that. Tom Little is my brother. But this guy, what he take, what he took, amazing. I thought that made it a good fight to watch. Was he tougher than what you expected? Much tougher, bro. Much tougher, you know. And uh, I needed, I needed 20, 20 seconds to see that he is much tougher than I expected because they punched me left and right, pa bam, straight to the face. Normally guys go down. You know, this guy just shook it off. He was like a bull. You know, he was really like a bull, and I felt like I was in there with somebody very, very tough because that is a mental toughness. You know, it's not just tough outside. You know? Size means nothing. This guy was mentally tough. He was ready for a fight. He was ready for a fight. But there was, on the other side, no way in hell he's going to last like eight rounds like that. No, it was no way. Is that what you needed tonight? Why not? Why are you looking at me like not? No, I'm saying, listen, because your idea is to take him out very early, one or two so rounds, job really done. Rounds. But you rounds. needed that You needed that tonight? You needed a, a few more rounds? And uh, no, I did. I did like I do all the time. You know, this guy was just a bit tougher, so I needed just one more round. So I don't see a big deal because I stopped. I don't know who uh, Tom Little late in third round, and I stopped this guy late in fourth round. If you look at like that, because he went out on his tool by the end of the fourth round. So, you know, it was just around more, and he deserved it. He was the heaviest one I ever fought. He was 30 kilo heavier than me. You, you can't forget that, you know, because it. it it gets on my body that, that extra weight, you know, I, I got I got carry it. But you saw it, I was the top of men in that fight. And uh, it was really a, a, a story about uh, Goliath, you know, how was that name? David. David and the Goliath. You know? I was just a little, little David and I want to fight. You know? And I want to say to everybody, you can do whatever you want, you know. It doesn't matter, size doesn't matter, nothing matters you know, if you have it in your mind. You know? What did you learn from tonight that you hadn't previously learned in previous fights? What did you learn? What did you take from that? Apart from the win, the stoppage, knockout, whatever, what did you learn? Well, nothing, you know, nothing because uh, he fell, you know. At the end of the day, I did the job. I, I, I punched with, I think, 450 punches, 500 punches in, what, four rounds. So I did exactly what I said I'm going to do, you know. So I did exactly what I'm going to do and I, I didn't learn nothing more because I wasn't really in, in trouble. You saw it, I wasn't in trouble on team a single time. So there was not much to learn. It was just beating. I was just beating him, bro. You know, and it was it was a street fight. It was a street fight, and my coach is not happy because I could do so much more. But I just like that kind of stuff. And when somebody draws me into the fighting, I'm not gonna back down. You know, I'm not gonna back down. I should sometime, but again, he didn't hurt me because I don't stop punching. You can't punch while I punch. You know, so I think I made a very very good fight for the fans. That was always my intentions, and I was I was. Uh, and you saw what happened after the fight. So that was in my mind also. So I just wanted to get him out, bro. Just go fall. I got to do something more important for me, you know. Let me ask you, and I'm going to kind of word this in the correct way, but because of your style and because we know how relentless you are coming forward from, from the first bell, do you feel yourself kind of tiring into three and four, rounds three and four? Is that something to maybe look, for, look at in your next fights or not? No, 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 because I just, I just had a second win in me, you know, and he was down, bro. Because if, if I'm tired, imagine what he looks like, imagine what he feels like. It's that simple, bro. The guys like they're like, oh, I'm not going to tire. Then he's not going to tire. I just take everything they got. That's why I make good fights. Every single of my fights, every single knockout, every single the fight of the night, you know. So I just do that. I gave him a shot. I gave him every chance. And he took, he, he gave all he's got, and he wasn't enough. And he's a big heavy, the 6 one record. He's 130 kilos, bro. I'm like 91 right now. So I'm just, I'm changing the game, but I'm changing it slowly. People are going to start to understand that I'm always a favorite with 30 kilos less. Who does that? And people now are crying, oh, he's a 10 pound heavier than me. This guy was 30, 40 pounds heavier than me. And Tom Little was 30 pounds heavier than me. Neil Kennedy was 20 pounds heavier than me. So, you know, I spar Joe Joyce, who is 50 pounds heavier than me. I don't care, you know, I do things differently, my way. And I wasn't shook up, not even once. You saw it. Everybody saw it. Your teammate Fabio Wardley has just scored a... Hey, Fabio Wardley! I'm so happy for him. Oh, he's in the backyard! Don't punch me, Fabio Wardley! I love him, I love him, I love him. I just met his mom and I told her, we're never going to fight. Me and Fabio Wardley are never going to fight. And she was happy for it, you know, because she doesn't want... 
You guys are teammates, so you're not going to fight. Yeah, but you know, nobody wants that kind of fight because we are both dangerous guys. You know, we are both knockout artists. We are dangerous guys. I just love that guy. He's such good. I love his trainer, Robbie Hodgins, my dear friend. Every time I come, he's all over me, you know, wishing me luck and everything. So I love their energy and I need them beside me. You know. Bit of a strange question considering he's just lost to Fabio Wally, but is Nick no. Webb still on your radar no, or not? No, no that, was, that was shit performance. I can't say anything different. How can you fall in one round, talk all this shit and fall in one round? How? Believe me, how? How does he feel right now? I don't want to even go to him. Okay. How can you fall in one round? You talk all the... You know, he didn't even... What did he do in the ring? He didn't fight. What was that, bro? He was doing like this, something. I don't know what was it. I don't want to fight that guy. I'll destroy him in... in I don't know what. Okay, who's next? Oh, I got one name. The next is Clara Vukovic, my beautiful wife to be. I'm gonna enjoy her. Uh, no, no. Don't, don't fight her. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy with her for the next. I, I, I hope I'm gonna get a week off so I can enjoy this beautiful woman. And that's all on my mind right now. Well, everyone would have seen your touching moment. We had a little reaction to straight after you come off, and everyone kind of. We saw the big screen, Lady Savage, etc. So we, we know you had this in your head. And uh, yeah, you had the win. And yeah, I'm a, I'm thankfully, a, she said yes. I don't know how that happened, bro. She's so much more beautiful than me. And so much, you know, everything more than I am. So I'm just so glad, you know, that a girl like that said yes to me. And no, I came from nothing, you know. And, and the things like that just show me how much I improved. You know, show me what, what I can become, you know. And because my appetites are just growing by the day. And now I have a beautiful girlfriend, you know, beautiful wife, my next wife. You know, I, I bought that stone because she's taken now, bro. You know, and I just love her. And that's all I'm gonna do. I can't even think about boxing right now. But of course, Savage is gonna be back. Of course, Savage is gonna be back in like two weeks. He's gonna be hunting me again. He comes into my nightmare. Hey, Bob Edge, we're going to fight. Fuck you, Savage just fought. No, I want to fight again. And he told me I don't. Want, he doesn't want to fight Nick Webb. So. You know. No, bro, Nick Webb did a shitty performance. Can I come to the wedding? Of course, brother. Of course. And don't bring your camera. No, leave the camera at home. Don't bring your camera. I love you as a person. You know, you're, you're with me since the day one. My first ever interview was with you. And I was just at this gig, you know. Yeah, 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 Spardino, right. I, I had no idea what I was talking. And then I went on to IFL TV, you know, I had like 50,000 views. I was done, bro. I, I, had a, I had a temperature that day. I had a fucking flu because of you. So I love you as a person. And you're forever going to be in my life, you know. And I want you to be there when I end this boxing story because I can't box. Love you. Love you. Alan? Alan, two things. Congratulations on the win. Onwards and upwards. But more importantly, congratulations on uh, your lovely lady saying yes. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to come to your wedding, whether it's in Croatia yeah. or the UK, wherever it is. It's in rowing, it's in rowing, and it's gonna be beautiful. And this is, you know what I did? Look, show me. Brilliant touch, yeah, brilliant touch. UK, UK gave me the shot, you know. Croatia is my number one country for the rest of my life, but UK gave me a shot. UK gave me a new life, you know, and I did this in UK because of it. I respect this Brentford place, although I can never buy it, but this is the place when I got a second chance. You know, it's very, very deep for me, and I feel the energy here like like nothing before. You know, I love it. And I love Eddie Hearn and all of the Metro family. You know, all of the Metro was on this because I could never do it by myself. You know that. I wanted to just kneel down, uh, but, but no, they were like, no, we're gonna do it. No, but God bless you. Listen, go and have a night off. I'll see you back at the hotel. Yeah, and we have some lemonade. Yeah, lemonade and water, sparkly. That's what we drink. Sparkly water. Sparkling water. With sparks. With sparks. With beer. Uh, beer. <coughs> Vodka. <coughs> Thank you very much. God bless.